My name is uh, Virendra Vikram Singh, and I'm a risk analytics manager here at Canby Partners. I basically work on optimizing financial products for our clients and finding uh, quality customers for them. Uh, I'm moved here from Miami. Uh, I'm originally from India. The coolest thing about my job is working with really smart people. Uh, it's like all nerds who are really good in business. Everybody around me has a PhD in quantitative finance or some master's degree, somebody is economist. And when we are building uh, machine learning models, we do go into minute details and that nerds come, come out of everyone. And that, that you can see in our discussions in general. At Canby Partners, our databases and reporting tools uh, and all the data exploration things, the systems are already in place and they are one of the best that I've seen in the industry so far. So we mostly focus on the advanced analytics where we can make business impact, where we can do end-to-end -end business strategies from building data models really quickly in a fast-paced environment and showing the business impact within a few weeks. And that's something really cool that we don't see in other industries that we can do here at Canberra Partners. The coolest thing about Christian Stead office is that uh, everything is really close by and our team is small and we all are very connected with each other. So after our office hour, we go out and go to trivia, like take the, take the boat to the hotel on the quay and just uh, sit there on the island and uh, play trivia together as a team. So you can just walk in there and just do whatever you want to do. You don't have to drive 30 minutes. That's some, something really beautiful about Christian Stead. Focus on adding the value to the business. Uh, building the industry has changed where now we don't just build data models. Uh, anybody can build a machine learning models these days, but how much value you are adding to your company, uh, to your team, that is something really, really important at this point in time uh, in 2021.